it's sad. Strong reaction tonight from Disneyland superfan who's devastated the park will not reopen July 17th as planned. This is very personal for me, and I'm very sad for all the people I know and work with who are out of work. Well known Disney blogger Dusty Sage, who created Mice Chat, is concerned the impact of an indefinite closure could crush the local economy. The usually bustling businesses just outside Disneyland are now boarded up. Some may never reopen as their PPP loans run out next month. And the employees, many of their um, unemployment benefits will run out in July. Um, all those hotels in Anaheim that can't reopen without Disney being in operation. And sadly, they're the city with, you know, the largest number of COVID cases in Orange County. So it really puts them in a difficult position. The move not to reopen the park, shuttered since March, comes after thousands of union employees plan to protest the reopening and 10,000 signed an online petition to keep it closed, citing health concerns for cast members amid growing COVID numbers in the state. The unions did send a letter to the governor, so I'm sure that's part of the calculus. Disneyland says they made the decision after the state decided not to issue theme park reopening guidelines until after July 4th. In a statement, a spokesperson wrote, given the time required for us to bring thousands of cast members back to work and restart our business, we have no choice but to delay the reopening of our theme parks and resort hotels until we receive approval from government officials. We have to see if this huge 60-something percent increase in the last two days is sustained or if it's rising, and then we'll know more. Now, the shops and the restaurants at downtown Disney are planning to reopen July 9th. But here at Disneyland, it's going to remain closed indefinitely. In Anaheim, Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News.